I'm Al Haytham, the Academia Scribe. If you wish to access an archived file, please submit an application according to the prescribed format. Uh, oh? Your form isn't ready? Not to worry. You can come again on the next working day. My work hours are posted outside the office. The scribe's work is simple, which is exactly why I took the position. Book learning alone is not enough to cultivate intelligence. All those scholars in the academia are prime examples. Hmm. <laughs> there have been many poorly written applications lately. I guess I'll just have to reject them all. <sighs> Going out on a rainy day is the worst. It's just a natural phenomenon, so there's nothing to be afraid of. Unless you're beneath a tree. It's getting cold, you say? I feel fine. This weather is perfect for doing nothing at all. Curses. There's sand in my shoes. <clears throat> it's a little early for me. Let me get a cup of coffee first. If there's nothing to do, then I'll just put on my soundproof earpieces and nap for a while. I'll be taking some time for myself now. Goodbye. I hope my roommate won't be hammering away on another one of his projects in the dead of night. Actually, I'd prefer if he wasn't home at all. I really don't want to wear my soundproof earpieces to bed. Rather than lacing my words with rhetoric, I prefer speaking factually. Truth serves no master. Humankind is not a vehicle for knowledge, nor is knowledge the aim of humankind. There are many things in this world that may catch our eye, but don't always believe what you see. If what we see in the world were all there was to it, then there'd be no need to think, would there? Don't be offended if you try to greet me on the street and I don't respond. It's simply because I'm wearing my soundproof earpieces, that's all. Most people are wary of interacting with me. Perhaps they're afraid, or maybe they think I'm difficult to get along with. I hope to keep things this way. I like reading difficult and abstruse books and seeing others scratch their heads in confusion. <laughs> I'm only joking. I don't delight in others' misery, and rarely do I encounter a book that's difficult for me. Based on my observations, many people inflict trouble upon themselves. Life already has enough hardships. No need to add to them. Taste supersedes presentation, else you risk overcomplicating the purpose of food. I think this is simple enough to understand. It's difficult to eat soup-like dishes while reading. Mmm. I can taste your mastery of the seasonings. Hmm. A contemporary flavor. Not bad. Let's not eat here. Mind if I, uh, take it home? Happy birthday. I've always thought people are a little too enthusiastic about celebrating the day they were born. Wouldn't it be better to apply all that enthusiasm towards their daily lives and improve their standards of living? <sighs> but, you seem to have done well for yourself. I didn't know what kind of gift to get, so I'll just set up a special application channel, reserved for your submissions alone. Thank you. Ah... So it wasn't a one-time-only thing. Here you are. Flicker. Scatter! Diffract! A process of elimination. Here you go. Don't let any of it roll away now. <clears throat> what a drag. <clears throat> the plan's changed. <clears throat> I need more time. Allow me. As expected. I didn't... foresee... I... miscalculated... a grave... oversight. <laughs> How bold. Well now. Yes? Let's get down to business. How long will this require, exactly? 